Hello friends, welcome to SI Technologies. Today we are going to discuss another set of interview questions which is asked in Sutherland company. The experience level is uh, 3 to 4 years and the position is ETL tester. So let's get into the questions. So I think a lot of, the, lot of questions which is asked in this particular uh, interview, right? Most of the questions which is answered by me in the previous videos. So how to remove the duplicate rows in the previous videos I have already explained in this play if you can go to here in the playlist okay go here okay in this in my channel if you can go to SR Technologies Ravindra Reddy in that you can go to SQL interview question in that this particular question is already available with you how to remove the duplicate rows in SQL and second thing is how what is black box testing how it is used in database testing basically what do you what do you mean by black box testing so specifically there is a white box testing and black box testing in white box testing basically what they do that okay they are going to verify the functionality as well as they are going to verify the code as well code when it comes to code even black box means basically they are going to we are going to verify the functionality for example 2 plus 2 whether it is working as a 4 or not, we are going to worry about it. We are not going to worry about 3 plus 1 or not. So internally, whatever it is happening, we are not going to test as part of the as part of the black box testing. We are going to always look at the what is the input, what is the output. So that is the important thing in black box testing. So whenever we are going ahead and we are going to Verify the output. Okay, internally how the developer is coded, what they have coded, we are not going to worry about it. We are going to provide the test conditions. We are going to provide the test data. Okay, according to the test data, whether the output is generating or not, we are going to verify it. That is the way which we are going to use the black box testing in database testing. So it is a very lengthy topic. But to be short and precise for as part of interview, I have explained this particular thing. So he mentioned that there are two types of testing. One is black box, another is white box testing. In that black box testing, we are going to verify the functionality. We are not going to verify the code as part of that particular thing. As part of, we are not going to verify internal code, internal code. So in even da database testing, we are not going to verify the code. So here we are going to verify the functionality as part of the database testing whether it the source versus target is working as expected or not next thing is how to get how to explain the ways to get the count of records so using the select select constar we'll be able to get the number of records so what kind of defects you have raised what is the most difficult defect you have raised in and how did you validate so this is already explained what kind of defects you have raised and what are the types of defects which is available in the ETL testing? Those I have already explained in the in this particular here. Here I have already explained. Just go through this particular SQL interview questions. In that I have already explained. So this question in the coming sessions, I am going to explain you. What is the most difficult defect you have raised? How did you validate? So we have to come up with the scenario and we have to explain in detail. So it is going to take more time. So second question, I will explain you in the coming session. And what is SCD types of SCDs? So this is already explained in the in this particular 57 questions out of 57 questions, 58 questions are there. Out of 58 questions, I have already explained. Here you can see what is this mastering slowly changing dimensions and SCD type one, type two, type three. I have explained in detail here. So so if you can consider it, right? If you can consider it. So most of the things which is already available with us in the playlist itself. Now. One other question is write an SQL query to fetch the domain name from email ID. Email ID. So this is also already available with the, with this this playlist. Okay, just you can check it out in this playlist itself. It is that particular thing is available. So write write a, write down the SQL query to fetch the domain name. So here you can see it is already available. Write down the SQL query to fetching the domain name and name from email ID. Same question which they have asked in the interview. Now, what is a rank and dense rank and ronum in SQL? Explain me the difference with examples. So this is also already explained here. So here, if you can go here, right? Let me see here somewhere I have explained. Just give me one sec. I have already explained in the previous videos also. 
I have mentioned this. Just give me one sec. Let me click on the let me click on the playlist. Then it will be easy to look at it. So rank versus dense rank and this particular thing. Not this one. Just give me. I don't want to take more time, but still, I wanted to show you. Here you can see rank, dense rank, row number. So those three already explained. Now, what is CTE? Write an SQL query to identify the duplicate records. In the playlist, first question, it's second question itself. That is the how to fetch the duplicate records. So this is the thing which I have explained what is CTE. CTE is in nothing but a common table expression. If we have a lengthy part, okay. If you have a lengthy, instead of writing nested subqueries, let's go with the CTA, which is going to give you the performance. So this question, out of this particular entire question set, Sutherland first round interview. So this question, what is CTE? And as well as, what is the most difficult defect which you have raised and how did you validate it? These two questions and as well as black box testing. These are the three things which I have not explained. In the next video, I'm going to explain. So... Consider it overall how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So out of 10 questions, okay, out of 10, 11 questions, consider it, it is a 2. So out of 11 questions, only 3 questions which we have not answered. Remaining things, everything is answered. And even this particular thing, black box, te black box testing also, I have explained in different video, but not as part of the interview questions. So... 70 80 percent of your interview is already explained in the interview questions just you have to spend more time on if you can go through these 58 questions these 58 questions i would say your interview going to be 100 percent successful 100 percent successful so people might think how can i go through see so every day you can take at least three to four questions and solve it and understand the concept let's not go blindly Okay, let's not buy heart it. Understand the concept. Then you will be easily able, to, you will be able to explain them in an easy way. That's it for the day, guys. Thank you. And in we are going to come up with this CTE as well as what is the most difficult defect, as well as block box testing and how it is used in database testing. So these three questions, which is going to be answered in the coming series. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. And one of the sincere requests I wanted to make. Suppose you guys are already attending the interviews. Please help me out with the questions so that even these questions also going to be answered for you. Some of the subscribers are already providing that. I think one of the subscribers is provided. In the, if you can provide more questions, so it is going to be helpful for the community as well. So whoever wanted to make a career in ETL testing, right? They can also they can also be, get benefited out of it. Thank you guys. Have a great day ahead. Bye.